Thank you, Pavitra. So Sujata's smile is also not an answer for everything. It also has its own challenges. And that's what I would like to point out today. So there are special situations associated even with the smile procedure. And the ones that I'm going to discuss today is retreatment, suction loss during uh, the femtosecond laser cuts, and if the lenticule gets stuck under the cap, what do you do? As regards retreatment, we know that retreatments in LASIK are very simple. You can just lift the flap and expose the corneal stroma again, or you can make another flap at a deeper depth. Since in SMILE there is no flap to relift, you need to have other alternatives. The simplest is to do a surface ablation. But here, now you'll be causing much more pain and a greater recovery time, which the patient who had uh, initially got SMILE done may not be prepared for. So what we also have as an alternative is a circle software. This is uh, a method which really works well because you can convert the cap into a flap by putting femtosecond shots across the cap, uh, the remaining portion which can be converted into a flap. And after a side cut, you do need to use your excimer laser in order to correct the refractive error. Uh, this is not as simple as it sounds because to be able to get to the same point is, is a challenge and this is the first video of the circle software being used in the world. But you can see how nicely it was designed that even in the first case we could actually get to the same plane and since then I've treated almost uh, 50 odd cases with this circle software and in none of the cases I was disappointed because I could immediately reach the same plane without any problems. So uh, there has been, a, this has been a great add to the SMILE procedure, because you know that in case you don't have the correct out outcome, you would have uh, something to back on to. We've also done a few cases as SMILE on SMILE, uh, just a couple of them, but there uh, we do require a little more work because uh, the next treatment is making a very thin lenticule. So whether to go to the same plane or to go totally in a different plane is what uh, is still a dilemma. But I know that uh, people have been trying smile on smile. And again, there are very few collective information, so we, I would not want to comment on that right now. This is how you would lift the flap and then you can do the excimer laser in a usual way and put it back. Now we know that SMILE has various different cuts. There is a, a posterior cut followed by a side cut and then an anterior cut which ends in a small incision. You can have a suction loss at any of these points. And these are all my videos where we had not really decided what to do. Uh, so this is all coming from the first thousand eyes that were done in the world. And we learned on the way and we tried different things and then this is what has come as a conclusion. That if it happens during the first cut, then what the, uh, rec uh, the recommendation of the manufacturer is to convert it into a, a flap and not go ahead with a smile procedure. Because this is a refractive cut and if you go ahead and do uh, a refractive cut again, maybe it would not go in the same plane. Um, my experience is a little different, so we have, we have been doing this, but I have in a few cases also done as smile on smile. You do need to use another license, but in all the cases, the final outcome was the same. So this is unofficial, so please don't uh, uh, quote me if there is any problem, but I have tried and I think it still works as, as well, because you can use the same contact glass and it would fit in the same way if you do it around the same time. You're not allowing edema to occur. And because there is a path of least resistance, the bubbles do go, trying to go in that same plane. So you do get the same refractive plane. Uh, but to be on the safer side, you could convert it into a flap like it has been recommended by the manufacturer. Uh, if you get it when, uh, when you are cutting the anterior sur lenticular surface, then it is definitely not a problem. So your posterior cut gets done completely and the uh, side cut also gets done, but just when you are starting the anterior cut, you can see the 
contact glass is moving a bit, you have a lot of fluid increase inside, you know that this is going to cause a problem. You are trying to tell the patient to, to just be calm and, and wait, but it does not, he probably is too anxious, but you could go ahead and fit the same and make sure that you check on infrared whether you have the same centration. Again, as I told you, because you have the foot plate, the footprint of the original contact glass, the new fit, if you use the same contact glass, goes exactly in the same place. And thus, you would be getting the same centration and your refractive result is going to be the same. There's absolutely no problem, so don't worry and don't really get perturbed about it. It's going to work well. What happens when you have a su suction loss at the final incision? Again, uh, be very careful about the same centration. So here you can see everything going smooth and nice. Uh, the first pass done, and now you can see that the patient is becoming fidgety, and just at the end, you get a suction loss. That's very disappointing, because you feel that everything is going on well, but if you again make sure that you have the same uh, centration, and make sure on, on infrared that it is okay. See, I, I am repeatedly trying to fit and not just going ahead with the first fit. Making sure that I have the correct centration and then you can have the option of only having the final incision, just like this. And to check whether we are good, you can actually enter that same place and the bottom layer. So you can see we could approach both the planes. Um, I'll just take one minute. And once it happened that uh, during the final incision, when I aborted, I could not reach the same plane because the patient was very, very uncomfortable. And in that case, then I, you can see there was a lot of uh, thick bubble layer. I'll just take half a minute more, Pavita. Uh, and this is then had to be converted into a PRK at a later date. I just aborted it because I was not able to reach the same plane. So not every time you will be lucky, so be careful about... Uh, are you going to allow me to go further? Audiovisual, please let me have the next slide. I'm not able to further it from here. 